So today I'm going to be having a bit of fun. I'm going to race the Old Faithful XR250R against the, well, used to be shiny new CRF250X. And there's not much else to say about this test. I've been looking forward to pitting the 250X against the XR for quite a while. And I'm really happy that I'm finally able to do this. So let's get to it, turn them loose, flap off the back, and see which one gets me there quicker. So I just got finished editing that video and there were a couple surprising things. On that deep uphill wash, the 250X actually it struggles a little bit in comparison and there's two reasons for that. First, it's a constant battle between 4th gear and 5th gear. If you're in 4th gear, you're hitting the rev limiter and then if you're in 5th gear, you can't pull on some of the deeper spots and you really can't go any faster than the rev limiter in 4th gear. Whereas the XR, and I believe the increased displacement has a little bit to do with this, but the XR you can just put it in 5th or 6th and just hold it open and it'll slowly but surely just keep accelerating. And then also on the 250X, all the ruts and rocks underneath all the deep gravel, you really feel them more on the 250X. And it's not the direct like head-on hits that get you on the 250X. The 250X suspension is really, really flush. 
and it actually absorbs those high speed direct front hits better than the XR. But anything that's trying to hit the bike side to side, you really feel it on the 250X compared to the XR. So it's a lot more of a struggle on the 250X. Another thing that was eye opening for me was in the rocky section. The XR, I did stall it in a little slot canyon and I couldn't get enough clearance on the kicker to get it started. So I had to like roll it back and then start kicking. I thought, oh, this only took me 15 seconds. In reality, it took me almost a minute to get the XR started after I stalled it. The 250X I also stalled, but I just hit the button real quick. And of course, I just want to say that both of these bikes are just such great machines. If you take out the stall in every section except for the last section, they were within eyesight of each other. Uh, neither one really pulled off and was gone, except for in the last section, the 250X it pulled off and it was gone. And last thing, I just want to thank you all for watching. I really enjoy having the opportunity to make these videos for you guys and I wouldn't have that opportunity if no one watched. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'd love to hear your thoughts, your opinions. 250X versus XR, what do you think?